Hey everyone, Todd Corsetti here, making Amber a log and antler towel holder for her Zen bathroom. Bathroom I remodeled last year. I made this juniper base, juniper log, or pole when I made the little juniper stool that I showed in the previous log furniture video. Link to that's below and at the end of this video. Now I'm going to put a third coat of uh, urethane on it, let it dry overnight, it'll be ready to attach the antler towel holders tomorrow. These are the three mule deer antler drops I'm going to use for the towel rack. I had them actually taped to it so I knew where I was going to attach them. So I just drilled a hole into this and into the uh, rod of the towel rack so I could put them in the same place. This one's kind of bleached out from sitting out in the sun, so I want to darken it so it's a similar color to a regular antler before they're dropped. And I like to use this dark walnut. Seems to match that color pretty well. I did I used this on a couple of the antlers in the uh, deer chandelier and the elk chandelier, and you really can't distinguish them. They were pretty white, now they just blend in. So any drill holes or anything I want to repair so you can't see I've taken shavings from uh, previous antler work screen those down so it's the finer stuff and I use a any kind of epoxy two-part epoxy will work I like a quick dry sets in five minutes it's got to be clear when you're mixing this up mix some of that uh, powder in and you can fill in holes and you really can't see them you could always stain them slightly with that uh, stain, wood stain if you want to, uh, if you need to cover them up a little bit more. Countersink the hole so the screw will go in so you can cover it up. Save those shavings. Get the bigger chunks out. I'm using Amber's uh, kitchen strainer so don't tell her. I got the polyurethane on the stand done and dried so now I just got to attach the deer antlers for the towel hooks. Okay got the uh, antlers where I want them on the uh, rack. I'm gonna put a second screw make sure they're pretty stable. Countersink or recess that screw carefully. Mm. <laughs> I'm like going to the dentist's office. Smells like burning bone. Yum. Alright, that shouldn't go anywhere. Okay, you got the. Uh, Deer, mule deer antler set where I want them. Got two screws in each that are countersunk. You wanted to again show the beauty of that juniper. You can see the whites, purples, and reds, and browns in that wood. It's gorgeous. Toughest part's finding the straight piece. Like I did with the chandeliers, the clear. Five minute epoxy mixed with the antler shavings. Then you just uh, fill in those holes, try to smooth it out so it blends in. can get a little 180 sandpaper and scuff it a little. So on these lighter antlers, I'm going to take a little more of that dark walnut, continue to uh, dab a little bit around the uh, epoxy to uh, blend it in a little bit better.
Got the towel rack done, got the antlers on, epoxied in, the stain blended in, looks pretty good. Put a couple felt pads on the bottom just to soften it on the floor. As long as Amber's happy with it, that's what matters. I'm golden. And here's a few other ideas for using antlers. Move your antler line racks. They're screwed together, but I just use some leather elk hide to wrap around them to hide the screws and uh, helps hold the wine bottles in place. Coffee cup holder made out of juniper logs and mule deer antlers. Screwed this together too, but wrapped it with leather just to hide the screws. I think it looks good. Mule deer magazine rack. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this helpful. Please hit the subscribe button. Your support is really appreciated. Thanks.